counter UAV in the back. That's confirmed. Hello, what's going on? It's your boy Lil Mike Mike Six. Hope you like that KSG uh, beasting that I was doing. I don't know if that was beasting or not. I'm sure it's better clips. Um, but that's actually the first time that I've used the KSG since I've uh, did the the reset, and I really didn't use the KSG much before the reset. But um, hey, I did something with it. But um, I'm starting to like the KSG a lot. Um, I do feel like it's it's stronger than the Remington. I feel like it's a lot better than the Remington. Uh, honestly, if you really put on um, laser sight on the KSG, it's pretty much the same as the Remington with just more range. You can hip fire the same way. Uh, the spread is so t when, once you put on that that um, laser sight, the spread is so tight that you can pretty much just hip fire people with it accurately, and um, it's just a beast. But in this gameplay right here, I'm running with my MLG team. I got um resistance in here, and then um fortune, and I, I believe it's defiance. But um, all four of us, we were playing a little bit of league play, and um, we we were just pretty much just dominating the other team. I got me a nice little 17 and one in this league play match here. They play a lot of league play. I play a lot of hard point. Um, I play a lot of, of that uh, arms race. You know, whatever I feel like playing at the moment or, or time, that's what I play. But um, they play mostly just league play just because it's all MLG. Um, and also congratulations to my team because they got um, they got picked to go to Anaheim. So it's a few, few guys from my team. Um, Resistance gonna be there. Then there's a few other people who's gonna be uh, going to MLG Anaheim, so they're gonna be competing in that. And then also, my boy Legend Mafia did a commentary. <laughs> he finally did a commentary. Um, so thanks, Legend Mafia, for you know bringing us one of those good old commentaries that we've been waiting on. Normally you do just montages. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So uh, basically, it's going to be his first commentary, I think. I, I believe this is his first commentary. He might have done one before, but I, I think this is his very first that he's actually uh, spoke on the video. You hear his voice. But, um... <clears throat> doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> but, uh, I did a video, I believe yesterday, where I was talking about, like, commentators and things like that, like, ruining... Uh, the Call of Duty community, to me, um, I just want to speak on that a little bit. I, I still feel the same way. I feel like a lot of these big major commentators ruined like the whole feel of the game. I mean, if you really think about it, would any of this game be getting changed around like this if nobody complained? If nobody absolutely just complained about the game, that uh, Treyarch and Infinity Ward is making. Um, if the only thing people just complained about was like, you know, bugs, uh, glitches, and hacks, and didn't complain about things like snipers and shotguns, pistols, and things like that, do you guys think this game would be more balanced? I mean, because when Call of Duty 4 came out, I'm sure people complained about Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, but not like to where the developer developers would change much. So I believe that from Call of Duty 4, Kai 4 coming out, or whatever you want to call it, when that one came out, people were playing it, they were complaining about stuff, and the game was right. The game was done, it was perfectly crafted, it was done right. People complained about a lot of the stuff in there, like, oh, people quick scoping me, oh, quick scoping me, uh, and well, whatever. And then that's when they came out with World at War for Treyarch. Anybody, if you go back and play World at War, like, like, like Thunder said in one of his videos, nobody played World at War. Everybody played Call of Duty 4. 
So what I'm what I'm saying is this Treyarch listened to the fan base for World at War and nobody liked it because they did everything that everybody wanted, but the game just sucked. It, it didn't have that fun factor to it. So what I'm saying is there was no quick scoping. The knives wasn't really nothing to be happy about. Nobody really did knifing or anything because it took you, it was too hard to get up on somebody because majority of people use the same guns. They all use that same extremely fast gun or I mean the snipers was like three or four shots to kill somebody on World at War. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was a one hit kill, but I've never gotten a one hit kill with any of the snipers. But um I mean World at War had that problem. And then you had um like uh, you got you got World at War, then you, you come out with Modern Warfare two. Now, with Modern Warfare 2, it was kind of to the point where people were complaining about, like, that's when Infinity War was like, okay, we got to bring this fun factor back. So they tried bringing it back, and they brought out so much new stuff to the game, and they did everything pretty much right, except they put a few things in there that people just, just didn't sit right with. I mean, the idea to one-man army was smart it was a good idea the idea to picking up claymores was smart that, you know that was that was a good idea the idea to picking up new tools was a good idea but the problem is the community is gonna abuse it the community abuses picking up claymores and things like that so now it just becomes a problem in the game the game was crafted perfectly but the community made it a bad game so now everybody's like well the, the the game sucks or whatever that's when black ops 2 come out and they restrict all that they take out all that stuff they, again down trying to listen to the community it was a good game though they actually did pretty good and then um modern warfare 3 came out they tried to bring that fun factor back it completely ruined everything and here's black ops 2 trying to fix it again they took out second chance they took they pretty much limited ghost but, you know, that's all I really got to say. I want to thank you guys for watching and peace.